Hey everyone, Gobot here, back today with another post-game episode for Madden 20 Cowboy Franchise Mode, as we were just in a just a crazy game, defeated by the Saints. Um, unfortunately, Drew Brees, he came back that fourth quarter comeback. He got that roll-in touchdown at the very end of the game. Uh, I mean, it's, it's stuff that makes it, it's a classic finish, but unfortunately the Cowboys were on the wrong side of it. But we got an upgrade here for Byron Jones. In the zone, we're going to get him up. Now, 92 overall, ladies and gentlemen. But if you enjoy this little uh, post-game episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and feel free to subscribe as we reach towards our goal of 2,000 subs. So, weekly awards, uh, that's from last week. We don't need to look at those. But we have negotiations and different things. We have a new injury to look at here as well. Again, we have uh, Lillard out for the rest of the year, of course, still. And then Cooper, he tore his shoulder in that game. Zeke is okay. He came back. He just needed to sit the rest of the game. But Cooper is out for the next five weeks. We'll get him back uh, roughly around week 11 or so. And that's going to hurt us in the receiving area. So we're going to have to see what we can do there to fix some of that. But let's go ahead and do some college scouting. Um, and just kind of see what weapons we could possibly get for our availability. Because right now, we looked at a, different, a bunch of various areas. We need to look at the strong safety. Did we already look at these? Let's see. Draft board. Do we look at any of these guys? We, we did not look at any strong uh, safety. So we're going to go ahead and look at Sidney Bender since he's the top rated guy out there. Uh, and then we're going to look at this guy who says undrafted. Maybe he could be a late ra late draft pick for us. He still says undrafted, so that's not uh, really keeping me very confident in his abilities there. Uh, but let's just go ahead. We see our picks right now. We currently get a first, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh. No sixth rounder. But I want to go ahead and look at wide receiver, not fullback, wide receiver, and see what may be around in the mid rounds. So second round here, we got Raymond Deacon. He's a third round talent, they say there. So keeping an eye on some of these receivers. Late fourth round, ish. Not good, man. Late fifth round, day I ain't it. And that's not good. So so far, all of those guys were bust for us receiving wise. Uh, if we have to get a receiver, we may have to do it early. Now let's go ahead and advance for the next week. As we get ready for the Packers, which we'll do in the next episode. So, um, next episode we got the Packers. Let's go ahead and look at the contract situations. We're still right now kind of waiting on Sean Lee to figure out. And, of course, Witten. Don't really want to go with them. But now let's go to Dak Prescott. Uh, star quality player here for us right now. He doesn't have any superstar abilities. But he wants an offer $130 million, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, we're going to keep an eye on that as... 130 million. Do we have Zeke? What's the deal with Zeke in this game? Because I thought he was on a contract year in real life. Like, is he just not available to do that in the game at all? Okay. But let's look at some of these other guys that we know we want to re-sign in here. Again, some of these guys in the yellow, yellow or orange or yellow, we will get back. Uh, Collins, we're going to want to get back. Hearns, possibly will want to get back. Robert Quinn will. Anthony Brown, absolutely. Randall Cobb, absolutely. So we got a, quite a few guys we still want to bring back, but we definitely need that quarterback. And I've been liking Dak Prescott this year more so than I usually do. We're going to jump that up to third, right there, 133. You like it? <sighs> Improve the freaking bonus. Are you kidding me? All right, so he wants a better bonus. What's the kind of money you're wanting? You're wanting 34, 37 million over the course of two years, man? Dang. I don't know if you're worth that, Sean. I really don't. Uh, so, again, we're looking at, oh, my God. We came off of an undefeated game. Now we got to get ready for the Packers, who are 4-0. and Let's take a look real quick at the standings and all. We're 3-1 and now in the league. Um, let's look around the whole NFL. So, looking at the NFC, there's the standings for the AFC North. Browns leading that division with a 3-1 record. The Titans are tied with three teams for the South. The East is led right now by the Jets at 2-1. and one. Dolphins now 0-4. And, and the AFC West is led by the Chargers, one of the undefeated teams. And the Packers leading the NFC North with a 4-0 record. They have a nice uh, spacious lead there. Two 0-4 teams in their division. The South is led by the 4-0 Saints after defeating the Cowboys. But they don't have much space to worry about. They got the Buccaneers and Falcons right in their hind ends. And then we still lead the NFC East with 3-1 record as the Giants and Redskins are just a game behind us at 2-2 two and two each. And then the West is tied all of top with 2-2 two two records except for the 49ers. So that's the way the NFL is shaped out right now. We go look at some of the league leaders in stats right now. Uh, the Cowboys, you see Dak almost a 1,000 yards passing, 9 touchdowns, 5 picks. Let's see where that chalks up with the league leaders here in the NFL through uh, four weeks now. So Patrick Mahomes still leading the league in passing with 1,447 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Um 
Just really, really great numbers there. Rushing-wise, even though Zeke didn't get to play that game very much, he still leads the league in rushing with 453 yards. Uh, The touchdown leader is still Lamar Miller with five touchdowns, followed by Hunt, Gurley, and Adrian Peterson. Receiving-wise, we've got uh, uh, Taywin Taylor there with his 395 yards receiving so far. Um, Two back from him is Julio Jones, then Keenan Allen, and Snead. The leader in touchdowns is Marquise Lee right now with six touchdowns on his 24 receptions, followed by Michael Thomas for the Saints, which found the end zone in our game. So defensively, we still see Mason Foster atop with 41 tackles on this year. The tackle leader for a loss is Godshock right now with eight tackles for a loss, followed by Jalen Smith for the Cowboys. Uh, then the sack leader right now is still Demarcus Lawrence with the six and a half sacks on the year. Pick leader is still tied atop with a ton of dudes with two picks this season. And the forced fumble, guys, look at this. Jalen Smith has five forced fumbles. Ogletree has four. Uh, fumble recovery leaders are Byron Smith and Ch- uh, Wuzie for the Cowboys. Again, that's the fumble situation we're talking about. Uh, and then every, uh, there's quite a few guys with one touchdown each. So before we finish all this up, let's go ahead and adjust the sliders. I mentioned this in the episode when we were just playing. Somebody mentioned that the, the fumble sliders need to be higher um, so we're going to go up to like 60. Okay. So they said they need to go up. So we're going to go bring these up to 60 and see if that makes it more realistic. Um, and that hopefully will fix that for the next episode when we actually play. So before we finish this episode, let's go ahead and do the weekly training. That's something I started wanting to doing in this game. So let's go ahead and start doing some training here. Um, let's do it. So we want to I want to play both, man. I want to play both. So we're going to do some training to try to get ready for the week five episode when we get ready for the Packers coming to town, which will definitely be a tough game. Packers have been on a roll. They're undefeated in the league. Guys, Cowboys are coming off a loss. we got to bounce back and good see if we can get something done. Got to be great. You want to win a ball game, take advantage of your practice reps. That's right. Take Sunday's advantage of your practice you reps. All right, so we're getting ready for practice here now. Uh, an all-out blitz is known as cover D and man-to-man coverage that is designed to pressure the QB to get rid of the football quickly, okay? Uh, recognize cover O. Oh, so cover zero is tricky because it looks like many different things at the line, so it's better to snap to identify the coverage. A true align of all-out blitz when there'll be no safety help. Uh, quick passes against cover zero. Quick pass concepts such as slants are good against blitzes because the quarterback is supposed to get rid of the ball quickly. Okay, so this is a cover zero. Um... We need to complete a pass quickly. So here we go. Running slants. There it is. So there's a slant to Cobb. Got it done. One and one. Good uh, good stuff there. So we got to recognize this. We read that safety coming down there. We got to know. That's a man coming in here. And th- that's the play they got us on earlier. Remember they got that tip? So I need to wait a bit more. All right. Screen passes are good against this. Allows a big run and catch. So throw the screen pass to the over the... Uh, okay, so... Run the screen play and complete the pass. Right bumper. Here we go. I completed it, but screen passes are still a little janky in this game at times. All right, let's do it again. And Zeke gets that one too, but snuffed out once more. But we're, at least we're completing it. We're trying to recognize that cover O. Uh, there are no deep safeties in cover zero at times, so the vertical could be a good option. So if we recognize this, we just need to throw a deep pass. Here we go. Bang, baby. I hope they run that on us because that's a touchdown waiting for us to happen. We just got to recognize it and audible out. So cover zero is what we're working on here. Rolling down the safety again. Bang. Oh, sacked. Dang it. We failed twice. All right. We got four out of six on the defense, on the offensive side, learning about that. Countering the blitz. Gain a first down against the defensive blitz. Here we go. What are we running here? Slant? Okay. First down. One of one. We're trying to get gold here now so we get the best uh, bonus. Bang. Another first down. This is good. I like this. Kind of learning what they like to do uh, defensively a little bit. Wide open. Zeke. Wide open. All right. What's this one here? Oh, Verts. They're bringing down both safeties. Now we got Verts. Go get it. Oh, Cobb, he barely made that catch. Good stuff. We got gold, man. 
Gain a first down. Oh, I threw a pick. Dang it. That sucks. So we threw a pick right there. But we got silver. Dang it. We were on our way to get gold, but we got silver. Um, now we're on the defense side. So cover two is man-to-man -man defense that includes two defenders playing zone coverage while split the field in half. So yes. Uh, man plus zone coverage. It's good because it's man coverage easily disguises zone coverage as well. Cover two man is effective against screen passes and linebacker occasionally. Defensive tackle is assigned to the cover the running back and easily read the screenplay as it develops. So, all right. Do I have to play as a linebacker? Oh, God, I got to play as a linebacker here. I don't want to. I want to play as a D-line. Stop him. Yes, sir. Off his back foot, he made the play. We got to stop, though. Okay. I don't want to play as a linebacker. Good play. All right. Another one. Okay, cover two man against a dagger. Dagger is a concept that receives runners. See, they love to run this underneath route, and then somebody coming across the middle of the field as well. So cover two is good against these as well. Each receiver is matched by defender in main coverage, but also put in good position to make a play. Personnel matchups can be, affect the advantage, though. Cover the targeted receiver that is indicated by the covering link and get the first down, or for, prevent the first down. Prevent the first down, and what did they do? He dropped it. Ooh, he dropped it and helped us out. So that's the route that's always open. And those routes like that are always open. And sack him. Sack him. Yes, sir. Just like when we play, we get sacked all the freaking time. We made it work again. So now they're going hitch. Uh, features short curl routes designed to be safe, easy completions. Once again, all receivers are matched up with a defender and two deep safeties over the top, defending if anything breaks up. Covered the targeted receivers and prevent the first down. Okay. And there's the comeback route, and we batted it away. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's see if they go back to the comeback again. They do, and we... Oh, he got me on the inside with that one. Good play. Good play. We failed that one. So one, we got five out of six. There. Now we got to go for the medals and try to prevent first downs here. So here we go. Maybe a zone. What we got here? We got to prevent a touchdown. They're going screen. They're going screen pass. Shoot. Well, we already failed. <laughs> we already failed. They ran that to perfection. The best we could do is silver now. And they're going... I don't know what they're doing here. Hitch. Come back. Prevent the touchdown. That's good. Second down. Second down and five. Quick route underneath. These are the things they do in the dang game. How do we stop it? How do I stop it? First and goal now. Another one. Man, we just can't stop those plays, guys. I'm telling you. The AI, and I'm not playing linebacker, but they cannot stop those plays. It's impossible. I'm telling you. And we forced him back a good ways there, so it's good. I got to learn to stop these plays. Underneath route, deflected out on the catch. Good job. So fourth down and goal. No touchdown happening. They're going for it here. Got a good score on fourth down. And they didn't get it. We covered him. We covered him. That's a stop, so we're at silver now. And we got one more here. So this is the third chance for us. Got to get another big four, uh, four and out, I guess, technically. There's a screen. And that ain't happening. That ain't happening right there, baby. Not happening at all in my, my, my book. Not, not today. And deflected there by Sean Lee. We need to figure out what to do with Sean Lee. We may, we may, I don't know if we want to shop around and see who's uh, trade market wise. We'll have to see what's available. Um, if you have any suggestions, y'all, in the comments down below right now, put some trade suggestions you, or people you think the Cowboys we should get rid of and trade, and maybe some pieces we should go attack and go after. So put all those down in the comments. We'll play it out. I need to figure out when the trade deadline is. But we got silver for both offense and defense in our weekly training session, getting ready for those pesky Packers. And that gives all these guys uh, bonuses. You see the bonuses they just got? That's going to help them level up. And we just got... Couple of these guys, some better XP. Tristan Hill, we still don't know what his development cycle is yet. Well, that is it for our off season, uh, or not off season, but our 
Um, little episode here. Tavon Austin, we're going to finish him, getting him an upgrade. We're going to go for him. Let's make him a better deep threat. Okay, so, but that is it. We're going to close it off. Um, if you enjoyed this post game episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and feel free to subscribe and help us reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers. So, we're going to go ahead and answer this media question real quick about the contract offer. Uh, we're going to say we don't think we're too far apart. You know, we're going to resign them. It's, like, it's going to happen, okay? But next episode, y'all, which will be in two days, uh, we're going by, by daily with these. You're going to be seeing the 4 0 Packers come to Arlington against the 3 1 Cowboys. The Cowboys look to re rebound and regain with a big win as we will uh, face the Packers in a classic game, I'm sure. But thanks again for watching. Y'all have an outstanding day, and I'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.